that view. I'd play with that view. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I've killed someone. Finally. First thing I tried to build was my surfboard, <laughs> and obviously that doesn't really work. You have to get in the cockpit. And release the docking clamp. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, P. P three twelve o'clock. Oh, he's rammed me. That's unfortunate. Got free look, a zoom, and the character will sort of pin. So as you can see, I'm rotating like that. Uh, normal movement controls, same as if you're running about. So uh, guns don't actually fire yet. So and also large ships can only have the. Um, Oh no! Right, press X soon. Soon. Right, burn a little bit longer towards the blue thing. Oh, 2019, 16, god, that kills everyone. True, true. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I'm at a bit of a loss. But Camino anyway, Summer, I hear... Pure Amazing, Fantas Longhorn, and Seron 16 play. <laughs> Bot Survival. So, welcome everybody, and today I just want to wish everybody happy holidays, because not everyone does Christmas, but everyone does some kind of holiday this time of year. So, happy holidays, happy new year for January 1st. I hope you all have a great time over the next week. Um, as we can see, it's seven days till the 2014 celebration. So, what I would say is, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, thanks for building. Um, and, um, yeah, all the best wishes for the new year. Um, I just wanted to do that first, because, uh, this video is mainly going to be about the content ID changes to YouTube. Everybody's doing it, so, looks like it's time for me to get my teeth stuck in. Um, Mushroom Fleet's only a small channel, so, to be honest, it's not like, um, I could have gotten that many content ID matches. Um, we've got permission to use the game footage directly from the developer. Thanks, Schema. Um, and we've also got um, the music is created, you know, obviously for the channel by the musician who I know personally, Input Sinewave. So thanks to him. So that basically means that in terms of copyright, I can't really see what their quandary would be. Also, all videos have some kind of uh, audio commentary, usually throughout as well. So it's not like I'm just sort of saying, hi everybody, roll the footage, and then, uh, you know, and at the end, bye. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's proper commentary and we're doing a proper, well, trying to do it properly anyway, without stepping on any toes, you know, I'm not going to be taking cuts from movies and referencing them. Uh, I think I did that once for the uh, Flash Gordon special, um, but that video wasn't monetized. So, you know, if ever I'm going to do anything like that, I'm basically just going to go not monetize it, you know, and it'll be a special, some kind of short, you know. Um, which is a shame, because monetization is how I get paid for doing these videos, but I guess that's the whole point, isn't it? So anyway, let's just take a little closer look at this thing, shall, shall we? Um, basically, Mushroom Fleet, we're only small, we got just over 3,000 subscribers, but we were only born, let's see, July, August, September, October, November, December, so we're five months old, nearly six, nearly six months old on January the 4th, we're six months old. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming along, checking out the videos, hitting subscribe, like, commenting, all that good stuff. Um, but today I'm just going to sort of talk about this. I mean, there's going to be, it's been a lot of stuff in the news about Content ID, how Content, content ID actually works. Um, basically, we've got various different policies which are getting quite confusing. I mean, if you've been watching anybody else talk about this... You know, my only worry is I'm going to get a bunch of flags. Um, but it is offering you some interesting things. For example, here, look, if music in the video was claimed, you can blank it. So it used to say it would just mute the audio of the video. 
Um, but um, so I guess you got to be careful if you're using remixes or anything like that. I mean, like I say, we had the music made from scratch, so I find it very unlikely that they're going to flag us on on, on our music. Um, like I say, if I was to use like you know Led Zeppelin or something like that in one of my uh, in one of my track in one of my videos, that's going to get flagged. And if I try to monetize that, well, I didn't make that music, so. There is an element of truthfulness in this, you know. I mean, if you're honest about what content you're using and you actually created all your own content, I don't think you're going to be hit by this too badly. The only issue is the gameplay footage. But we do have permission. So it's sort of like, if, it, if, if you get a claim, you can just literally cite the uh, URL for um with regards to StarMade anyway i mean if i was going to talk about other games yes you're going to have to go and contact other games i mean i know i've got permission to do at least i know i've i've i have implicit permission implicit explicit permission for making videos on StarMade and space engineers um that's it i you know i've never actually contacted any other companies i don't think uh, to ask I think I did contact CCP regarding dust 514 before it came out of our alpha but they never came back to me so I just didn't really focus on it I mean I did do a pretty I did do a channel on there on dust 514 um, it was called hateful munitions I ran it from um, a roughly January through um, along with Omega Curie labs for Hawken they're still running um, but that's not my main thing. I prefer, you know, StarMade's been giving me a lot more back um, compared to, you know, where I'd throw out a few hundred videos and get nothing. So here we are. So here we are. I'm going to go to my copyright notices right now, guys, and I'm just going to show you something. So I got my episode one. Okay, episode one was flagged. Now, the reason that was flagged is, is legitimate. I used a track which I didn't create in the first 60 episodes, I think. But none of these videos are actually monetized, so it's not like a, there's a problem. Um, same with episode 8. Uh, here we go, let's open this one up and you can see. Kong, the Mushroom Fleet, at 1.49. I don't think you're going to be, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but... So as you can hear there, that little bit of music, it's not me, you know, I didn't make that. Someone called, the called Kong, <laughs> made a track called The Mushroom Fleet, and I thought, well, that fits well for my first video. We're called Mushroom Fleet, they made a track called Mushroom Fleet, let's use it. <laughs> and I thought, if I get claimed on it, fine, I'll just acknowledge it. So I just acknowledged it, you know, um, it's not my song. So anyway, if I go back, let's have a look at episode 8 for the PvP test on Migraine Trigger. Mark 7. So again, Kong, the Mushroom Fleet. So, you know, I can't exactly complain at the end of the day. It's not my music. And with my first 50 episodes, I didn't know how... Uh, I didn't know how many episodes I was going to be doing on Star Maid. So, it didn't really matter if I used someone else's music at that point. You know, I wasn't claiming. I'm not trying to make any money from it, so... But yeah, so that's the same one. Episode 11, this will probably be the same one again. Yeah, Kong, the Mushroom Fleet, CNR Entertainment. Like I say, I don't, you know, don't actually have the permission to use that and earn from that. So, and then uh, episode 51, by now I think I changed the track. Oh no, 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 the planets, OP32 Mars, the bringer of war administered by EMI Music Publishing, even though I actually got a, uh, a live broadcast recording from 1930-something, something like that. So it should have been over 50 years old and therefore not on copyright. But because of the bot, the bots picked it up as a more recent recording and then they have the rights to that. And it's like, well, do I really want to argue and potentially lose my entire channel just because I like the sound of this? which is clearly not written by me. <laughs> so it's like, you know, if you like using samples in your, uh, if you like using samples of like famous stuff, you know, like audio soundboards, all that kind of thing, you've got to be really careful because you didn't make it, you know. You'd be better off 
recording a parody version of the song or the sound effect and then when they flag it go no that was me with a microphone what but you know it, without it sounding like a pantomime because <laughs> you can just imagine you get three guys around a table and do the halo theme tune so that we can make a parody episode it would sound really bad but it would probably be funny right so i don't know Anyway, I'm going on and on and on, so that's my only c disputes with those four, and I don't really care about those, because like I say, I didn't even monetize anything up to episode 60, where I started putting my own songs on, and, you know, started putting out a lot more content. And I'm up to 463 now, so the last thing I want is them to flag every single video, but I just dispute it once, and that'd be the end of it, because I have had claims on these videos for, in the past, because I'm, uh, I may as well just sort of give you a bit more deep background on this one. Let me just see. Um, I think when I hit like episode 100, a scout got in touch with me and he asked me if I wanted to partner with Broadband TV. I'm just trying to find out where the stats are for that because it doesn't seem to be telling me. Uh, it doesn't seem to it used to tell me right here but it doesn't tell me right there no, anymore. But yeah, I'm partnered with Broadband TV. Um, they've got a couple of big YouTubers on their accounts, so I thought, hey, I'll stick with them for my first year, probably stick with them for another year if they'll have me. Um, but like I say, with all the changes, I don't know if I'm gonna get busted down to affiliate. Um, if that does happen, then what I will start doing is I will start uploading my videos early. Okay, now, up until now, I have been uploading them every day, or I've been trying to. I mean, there's been a couple of days, uh, the like last few weeks, where we haven't had many uh, updates, and also I've been ill, so I hadn't, I'd only uploaded probably half of the amount that I normally upload. Um, ah, there we go. There's the, I knew it was in here somewhere, see? So, everything's looking good. Um, right now I've got everything active except for paid subscriptions um, and there we go three months ago so August the 26th is when I got partnered and they've been really good to me they've been sending me information about these changes continuously like literally every time some new development would come they'd send it on email we've been completely up to date we knew about this two months ago we knew about this literally within a month of me signing up with them they were like yeah changes to YouTube you know, various bits and pieces, gotta be careful about your content ID disputes, right? Um, and they even offered to help out, you know, if, if there are ever any sort of gray areas that we were unsure of. And I think I did send uh, one video off to them, which was the, uh, it was the Flash Gordon video, when I did the parody episode for Flash Gordon. And obviously it, it was all shot in engine, but I did use the Queen soundtrack. Now obviously that's copyright, so I said, look, what's the, what's the position on this? Because I'd like doing parody episodes, but, you know, don't want to get my whole channel shut down. So, yeah, they basically turned around and said to me, as long as you don't monetize it, it's fine. And what that basically means is, guys, YouTube will monetize the video, okay? And earn the money from whatever hits it gets. I mean, I'm just, I'm just a small channel, so... It's not really going to get that much, you know, it's, I'm dealing with small traffic volumes. I mean, I love all you guys for coming and watching my videos, but I have to keep some perspective. I mean, if you look at the, some of the guys like uh, Nerd Cubed, you know, even Ray William Johnson and uh, Seth Bling, people like that. If, I, if you look at those guys, you know, they're, they're, it's just not, not even worth comparing, you know. I mean, I'm fine with my little corner of YouTube. This is great. We've been building it up, and I'm really happy that everyone's interested and still keen to come back and check out the videos. But at the same time, I'm only, f only six months old, and it, you, it takes years to build up a YouTube channel. And I ain't going anywhere, just for the record. I mean... This game isn't even in isn't even in beta, so StarMade's running strong. Um, but yeah, let's get back to YouTube. So they reckon uh, this whole thing, the whole reason for this, is because they want to earn the money off the off the off the videos which aren't really owned by you. They're going to basically say, okay, you don't really own the rights to that, but we do, or we're in a partnership with, because YouTube's got agreements with all these big companies, EMI and so on. And they're basically going to be taking a cut or a percentage of that. Because obviously, you know, they're not going to pay themselves. Ad, they, they do the advertising. So that's pretty much how it works. As far as I can understand it. Anyway, I mean, 
I don't really think there's much more to say about this because what's going to happen is everybody that is making legitimate content owned by themselves is going to end up partnering. They're going to be partnered. I mean, there are talent scouts running around YouTube right now desperately trying to get people on their managed partner service. You know, this affiliate system where you were delayed, that's because you're not with anyone yet, as far as I know. I mean, there may be networks which are using that affiliate system, but I'm not on one, so I can't comment. But all I can say is that of the YouTubers that I do know, they're all starting to sign up to partners. I mean, yeah, sure, you lose 40%, but come on. it's it's for, What's 40% of $10? You know, would you rather want $6 or no dollars? I'm just saying because, you know, before I partnered, I never saw a check from any channel I ever wrote, ever, ever had operated. And I've operated uh, channels going back to 2007. So, and they weren't small. They were, they were quite big for what they were, but, but that's, that's just the, the way of the world. They weren't really uh, going to ever earn any money because it's just that's just the way it goes i mean i'm not here to make money i'm here i've got a job <laughs> i i earn i earn um i fix computers out of interest okay so like to me gaming is just something i do between jobs and i can put out a lot of videos in my spare time okay it's real nice that youtube are going to give me something for doing that but i'm not expecting them to like pay my rent i'm expecting them to maybe buy me a pizza every month but I'm not really expecting much more than that. Uh, we'll put a link, of course, to the in the description of this video so we've got some transparency and you can actually take a look at my estimated earnings. Um, there's a website called socialblade.com. You can just simply go in there and you can add, you know, you can add the name of the YouTube channel and it'll tell you exactly what they've been earning. Um, but yeah, effectively, this isn't affecting me, guys. I've been going on too long so far. So I'm just going to read out parts of this letter from YouTube, which appeared on Kotaku. Uh, let me see. And that was last week? Can't have been today. It says Tuesday at 4.05 p.m. But to be honest, it's Monday. So unless this is like in some strange part of the planet that's 12 hours ahead of me, which it could be. <laughs> like 24 hours ahead of me jeez okay so yeah this is obviously last week here we go hi from youtube you might have heard or have been impacted by an increase in copyright claims made on videos over the past week we're getting in touch to explain what's happening and how you can get back to creating and monetizing great videos the last week we expanded the system oh what's happening Content ID is a YouTube system for scanning videos from copyrighted content and giving content owners choices on what they want, to, want us to do with them. Last week, we expanded on the system to scan more channels, including those affiliated with a multi-channel network. As a result, some channels, including many gaming channels, saw claims appear against their videos from audio or video copyright holders. Understanding Copyright ID Claims Keep in mind one video may contain multiple copyrighted works, any of which could potentially result in a claim. For example, a record label may own a music playing in the background. Yes, in the background. A music distributor may own a game soundtrack or a game publisher may own in-game cinematic content. Also, online rights are often resold to companies like music labels and aggregators. While you might not recognize the owner, this doesn't necessarily mean their claims are invalid deciding what to do ah oh, ha, 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 dispute steps and so on do you know what? I'm gonna skip that bit and just go straight to tips for new videos because that's what you guys want to know if you operate a channel of course if you're creating videos with content from other people remember that rights ownership can be complicated and different owners have different policies be aware of music Many games allow you to turn off background music whilst leaving sound effects enabled. What's that supposed to mean? Right, I, I just want to just hang on a second. So what they're saying is that you've got the option to turn off background music. So it's not like you have to have it playing. But then, you know, before long, this is the bit that caught me. Hang on. How long until they decide that, you know, Ubisoft want to keep rights to their machine gun loops? 
uh, I don't know. It's just, you know, where does it stop, guys? That's that's my question. Please, if you've watched this far, respond in the uh, section below. Where does it stop? At the end of the day, there are artists working for the company that make the logo on the menus in games, okay? So, and, and like I say, the sound effects, they're made by people under employ in that company or in that software development company. So it's like, well, where does this con where does the copyright stop, you know? It could you know are we going to see like getting flagged for an rpg launcher sound or <laughs> i mean i don't play those like those well i do play those kinds of games though on my channel b so you know i'm going to get affected by this but i'm just not going to monetize anything on channel b so it's a bit silly i'd like to but at the moment it's a bit of a minefield so and and to be fair they're uh commu they do have this whole uh i'll quickly show you this this thing came out recently, Creation Tools Audio Library. Now, as you can see, these are all free background tracks, and there are, there are loads of them. I, I've only looked in the instrumental areas, but, um, I mean, I'm just going to get a noddy track for you. Uh, let's see, acoustic, synth, uh, I will do acoustic guitar. Holiday, oh, shakana, shakana, what? I, I'm not able to say that. Right, we wish you a Merry Christmas. There you go with the guitar I mean I don't know if you can hear this but probably not oh, that's enough so you know there's plenty of tracks in here we don't need to necessarily rip off something famous in my opinion it's laziness on the part of the channel creator to just use some copyrighted stuff and then monetize it if they're not monetizing it then they know what they're doing don't they because YouTube will if you don't, YouTube will. This is the thing. You don't know. You don't see happening behind the scenes. But to be honest, I think I've ranted enough about this. I mean, I, I'm not, I don't really think this was so much of a rant, to be honest. Um, gaming, music, or whether gaming, music, or comedy is your passion, know that we love what you do. We've worked very hard to design content ID and other tools to give everyone from individual creators to media companies the opportunity to make great videos and earn money. So in other words, they still want the content. So what I would say is if you're a little YouTuber like me, you don't really have to worry about it. You know? Um, if you're a big YouTuber with hundreds of thousands of videos, well, maybe you just need to change your process a little bit, you know? I mean, fair use is still a thing as far as I know. It's just, uh, you might have to argue about it. <laughs> so in any case, happy holidays. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you soon.